In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HCl. This is sodium hydrogen carbonate, also called bicarbonate, plus hydrochloric acid. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation is already balanced, so we don't need to do anything. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. So this sodium compound, sodium compounds in general, they're soluble. They'll split apart into their ions. So put a little AQ, that's aqueous for dissolved in water. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. So it's also will split apart into its ions in water. Sodium compounds, again, very soluble. Chloride compounds as well, they're soluble. So this is definitely gonna be aqueous. And then carbon dioxide's a gas. Water, that is a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So we have sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table, that'll have a one plus charge. And this hydrogen carbonate, this bicarbonate ion, we could look up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and we could see that it's right here, the bicarbonate, HCO3 minus. We could also tell since the sodium's positive, it would need to be minus as well. So we have that, and we can split this apart into Na plus, plus the HCO3 minus the bicarbonate ion. I'll write aqueous at the end. I'm not going to write that right now. Then for the hydrochloric acid, hydrogen group one positive chlorine, that's going to be negative. We can write H plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. Those are the reactants. On the product side, we said sodium is positive and chlorine, that would be negative. We'll have Na plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. And then for gases, liquids, and solids, in net ionic equations, we don't split those apart. So we'll just write CO2 plus H2O. And this is the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. Based on this, we can now cross out the spectator ions. So the spectator ions, they're ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So we have Na plus here in the reactants, and then in the products, we have Na plus here. We can cross that out. Let's see, here's Cl minus, Cl minus. So we have the chloride ion in the reactants, products, it hasn't changed, cross it out. That's gonna leave us with the net ionic equation. And that's gonna be this HCO3 minus plus the hydrogen ion, H plus, and then we'll get CO2 and H2O. Let me clean this up, write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely written net ionic equation for NaHCO3 plus HCl. And this is the net ionic equation for sodium bicarbonate plus hydrochloric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.